Hey, what's up guys? It's me here, Keel Dyken. Just wanted to let you guys know, I'm out flying my Phantom 3. It is approximately uh, 83 feet in height and about 73 feet away from me. As you can see, it's hovering up there. I currently have my flight mode on. So I got into a little bit of a discussion with some guy named TV something or whatever. Um, I guess the guy runs a YouTube channel TV tech guys I don't know the specific name but anyway he'll be linked to my uh, this video we got into a little bit of a discussion and I called him out because his information was incorrect uh, the point that I was making was that if you're using a iPad mini or any other non cellular device the um, uh, follow me mode does not work uh, he states that the remote which is the white one I'm actually here, uh, care, uh, holding, the uh, Phantom 3 remote, um, has a built-in GPS signal. And so I'm calling them out on this video because I hate to see people who are wrong and just want to stay blatantly ignorant of correct information. And so as I was stating, um, that's actually based upon the manual and what everybody else is also pointing out, is that iPads that are non-cellular are not capable of the follow me mode because they do not have a GPS chip. If you want to use the follow me mode with the Phantom 3 or uh, the Inspire, I'm not too familiar with the Ins uh, Inspire um, in, in terms of this software because I don't use it, never have it. But according to the uh, uh, DJI uh, software, you cannot use an iPad mini non-cellular device or iPad uh, non-cellular device and expect to use the follow me mode because it does not have a GPS chip enabled, which I will demonstrate right now. So I am going to activate the follow me mode, which you see here. And as you notice, it says GPS signal too weak. The reason why that being is because all Samsung devices, whether they're cellular or non-cellular devices, actually have a GPS mode uh, uh, chip installed. Now, I can use my uh, iPhone 6 Plus, uh, 6S Plus, which I'm currently using, and hook this up to this device, and the follow me, follow me mode will work simply because it has a GPS the, uh, chip installed in the device. So, as you can see here, TV Land, whatever your heck your name was, please stop misinforming people and let them know that the GPS mode, the, uh, that the iPad minis or whatnot do not have GPS chips installed, be, even, whether it's hooked up to Wi-Fi. I'm about 20 feet out in front of my house with the G, uh, my Wi-Fi signal uh, with about 300 foot range. It will not work because iPad minis and nine cellular iOS devices do not have a GPS chip installed. As you can see, I just pressed the button here, GPS signal too weak, all right? So now, the other modes which will work, pardon me guys, I'm recording one hand. Uh, let's go back to the intelligent navigation. The point of interest will work. As you can see, I just hit the record POI. Let me go apply. Minimum uh, radius is five millimeters. Uh, my radius is zero feet. I'm actually not far away, but you know, apologize again. I'm uh, doing this one hit with one hand. This will work. But the other functions, as far as the follow me mode, here, let me go back. As you see, I'm gonna click on follow me. And apply, that's the follow me mode. I hit apply, GPS signal, too weak because it does not have a GPS chip installed. So thanks again for watching my channel. I like correct information. Stop blowing crap up people's behind, trying to sell them on stuff because you're too lazy to go do your homework and actually show a decent video that shows individuals that the follow me mode and that iOS devices, devices non-cellular do not have a GPS chip installed. It is not installed in the radio. As you were telling people, it is installed or it goes according to whatever device you have hooked up to your uh, Phantom 3 controller. So I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Thank you.